Yakuza, Kaiju Monsters, Samurai Judges. Let's go east for some Hondo City Justice. Hondo City is the Japanese equivalent of Mega City One, a large, sprawling urban mass where society on the forefront of modern technology blends haphazardly with Japan's feudal past. From samurai like judge inspectors to Yakuza crime syndicates, from giant city stomping monsters to rogue ronin warriors. The judge inspectors patrol the city, but are plagued by corruption. Fortunately, judges like Aiko Anaba, the first female judge inspector of Hondo City, and her protege, Junko Asahara, the first graduate of the Otomo program and a powerful psychic and telekinetic, uphold the law while still questioning the authority of Justice Central. When she was a cadet, Inaba was partnered with Inspector Shimura, created by Robbie Morrison and Frank Whiteley, who would later go rogue after becoming disillusioned by the system's complicity with organized crime and big business. Now he is a ronin, a renegade warrior answerable to no one in his quest for justice. Established by John Wagner and Colin McNeil in the Judge Dredd story Our Man in Hondo in 1989, Hondo City can read like a lot of Western cliches about Japan all mashed together. Certainly that early story can be difficult reading decades on, but it's still inventive and expertly told with some great Colin McNeil art. And you really don't want to miss Frank Quietly's early artwork on uh, Hondo City lore, as well as Neil Guji's on Inaba and Asahara's most recent cases. It's a feast for the eyes. While Morrison's action-packed scripts make this a good series, for those who are looking for something a little different in Dredd's dystopian world. You can discover a whole new world of law enforcement with the collected Hondo City Law and Hondo City Justice, which are available from all good book and comic book stores, as well as digitally from 2080's web shop and apps. Well, that's another 2080 ABC Earthlets. Let us know what you think on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Next week, we go post-mortem, post-modern with the grievous journey of Ichabod Azrael and the dead left in his wake. Thank you.